All right, so here is a uh, video of the inside of my uh, Northern Electric uh, 233QF. So what I've, I've opened it because there is a built-in ringer and they're not supposed to have built-in ringers. So um, it's a mess. They had this, um, this was on the eBay listing, it was modified for home use and that's junk for me. So they had this little ring detect circuit crap and they had that uh, super glued or actually that's epoxy they use. They use like this epoxy thing, a two part of epoxy. They had that down there, and then they modify. They had that there, and obviously, um, there's no coin relay in here. So I'm I'm gonna need to buy a coin relay. I think it'll be like 50 bucks. But I basically unmodified it. And they had this piece here was like um, it's like somewhere you know it's eh, no. So I had to take that out. Although. I'm gonna keep this. I'm not throwing this away. Look at how cool that is. This is like actually from an external ringer, I think. That is really cool. I'm gonna keep this piece. That, I'm not keeping. That's junk. This I'm gonna keep. Really cool. Maybe I'll connect it to one of my extensions here and you know, just connect it up. You know, and have it ring like an alarm or something. Who knows? From product with that. Anyways, so I uh, unglued that from the bottom. Try to clean that up best I could. It's really hard to get off though. Uh, I can use a flathead screwdriver to get it off because it's just metal, so it doesn't matter if it if it's scratched on the inside. But as you can see, it's really hard to get off. And um, since obviously this had a bunch of inputs and outputs, I had to, there is no schematics on this online. I had to figure out um, how all this is wired up. So you know, what? maybe I'll actually get this on video. So here we have red from red from the handset goes with green from the line right there. Those two are connected. Yellow from handset goes here. Red from line goes there. Black goes here and green goes here. At least uh I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's the only way I've gotten this to work properly. I don't know if I'm going to have to rewire this when I get the coin relay in. Odds are I probably am, and I'll have to actually see what I can dig up. Um, but that's just trial and error what I found works. I'm not an, an electrical engineer. I have a very basic understandings of basic electronics. Like, I mean, just very basic electronics. Nothing... Um, I could probably understand this actually if I had a, a circuit diagram, but I couldn't find one, so I just had to improvise. But I just put a little um, zip tie, cable tie there, just to make that all neat. And I can just grab this whole bunch of wires and put it right behind there. And it looks all nice and neat. So now all I need to get is a coin relay that connects here and that connects there somewhere. So. That's cool. That's all the trash. Not throwing away anything. I seriously, I tried to save this originally because I thought, you know, that might be kind of cool to keep. But um, it didn't come out gracefully. It really did not come out gracefully. There is no possible way on earth I could get that out without spending hours using a hair dryer. And it's just a modern circuit thing. I mean, this is not original to the phone at all. So. It's not even really worth keeping. It's just a uh, an aftermarket hobbyist thing that was there, and I want to keep everything I have original, um, the most possible, like as as close to as original but functional as possible. So that wasn't going to cut it for me. It would it might other people who just want a complete system, but I'm planning on actually connecting this to a coin trunk, so I can't. I couldn't have all the stuff. I will use an actual real Western Electric, well, I guess um, Northern Electric external ringer box, you know, just to keep it all uh, NE. But um, yeah, so this is my Northern Electric 232QF. As you can see, uh, because I think one of the reasons why is, um, I think maybe it was only a Western Electric thing where you had. You know, the numbers weren't on this style here. They were actually on a separate thing. But yeah, this is Northern Electric 232QF. 
in lime green, which, I mean, I it's probably also an aftermarket thing, but I like to just think to myself that somewhere in a Northern Electric factory, someone was just having fun painting these lime green. So I'll stick with that just to keep my OCD perfect. So, you know, see so pick up that dial tone and dial three, four, seven, five, zero, zero, nine should be disconnected. So yeah, that works. And uh, all I have to do is uh, screw that in. Let's see if I can do that holding the camera. Bad idea, I can't talk or it's gonna fall. Drop the camera there for a second, but hopefully you guys saw that. So yeah, we got that screwed in, which normally there's supposed to be a lock there, but I like to think that um, that you know maybe when they didn't have a spare lock, they just did something like that until they got one. Who knows? But I have to clean all this up. But I'll show you a quick update on my step switch as well. Here's my step switch here. So I have my ringing generator, my step switch, power supplies, and a four port ATA there I got for 29 bucks free shipping. Very happy about that. It's a Grandstream HT704, $29 free shipping. New in box, sealed. Seriously could not pass up on that. So. <laughs> What's funny is the seller wanted like thirty-two dollars, but I offered twenty-nine. I completely lowballed that guy, but he probably knows that. That's a bell. I'll just put that somewhere here. Let's see. So obviously, there's no ringer in this phone. So if I call it. Uh, fake dial pulsing to my switch. He's going to hear a dead silent until I pick it up. Hello? Hello? I'll deposit a coin. Quarters are hardest to hear. Yeah, let's deposit something like a dime is really loud or a nickel. Here's a dime. I'll put this over here so you can hear. Here's a dime. I'll put in a quarter nickel. Um, yeah, so it works perfectly fine. There's no issues with it besides not having a coin relay. So I, right now all the coins are going straight into the coin bolt. So when I get the coin relay, I'll just uh, modify it back to stock standards. But for now, the purposes I'm going to use this phone for, that works perfectly fine. I'm probably not going to modify it to actually have the coin collect and return based on the relays for, for a little bit. But, um, but it's nice to know that now I should easily be able to install it because I unmodified it and now it's uh, stock. So, yeah, that's my phone. Let's see a dial card there. 
or inst instruction card, I mean, sorry. Here is coin return. And see it's spring loaded. But I think most people just moved it up manually. I don't know. And then there's the Northern Electric badge. Northern Electric Company Limited, made in Canada. You'd think made in America, but no, uh, NE, I believe, did uh, most of their stuff in, in Canada. At least this phone, anyways, apparently. And yeah, uh, so there's 25, 10, and 5. I'm thinking I might, I don't know, uh, you guys can comment below if this is a good idea. You see how the 10 is worn out a bit there? You can read it, but it's kind of worn out. I'm wondering what would happen if I just took a Sharpie and, and outlined that. Because I think it's the same color, and it's just, it's already in a track, so it's not like I would screw up. But, um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, how I would get that uh, painted back to say 10 properly. That's my only complaint with this phone, is that 10. Everything else is, like, shiny and, and polished and perfect. The only issue, cosmetically, is the 10 cents. Uh, doesn't say 10 properly. It's kind of worn out, but... Yeah, and there's the dial card. Please wait for dial tone. I'll take this out, and I'll put the phone number there. But, uh, it works. Let's call that payphone over there. So five, zero, zero, two. Testing, one, two, three, test. I'll deposit a uh, a quarter, and you can hear the uh, coin deposition tone through here. Yeah. I'll use this phone to dial into my step switch. Maybe I dialed that incorrectly. Yep. Let's dial that correctly. Gotta wait for dial tone. That doesn't lie. There we go. I'll dial 5322, which is this phone here. And trunk is it's dialing into it. Huh, apparently, oh, sorry, it's four, it's, I'm being stupid, it's three, I'm forgetting how to use my own switch, it's four XXX, so four, three, two, two. Alright, trunk is seized, should be dialing in now. Where's that there? Hang up, trunk releases, trunk released, pick up the phone. Can dial uh, 302 here. Works. And, uh, yep, Naveen's on my computer right now. Alright, well, I'll get this cleaned up and I'll, I might make another update video tomorrow. When there's more light in my room, right now it's night time, so let's put that back on. Get that all ready. Oh, you know, I can show you guys into um, the coin vault. There's no coin box right now, currently. I do have one, I should install it. Really, coins in here. Let me just put that back like so. This is. Um, I think this is actually a standard key. I think this is actually called a, uh, let's see. That actually looks very similar to um, the unit I have. Let me see. That's, 
a striking resemblance. No pun intended. I'm sorry. Uh, hmm, no. Has this, um, you know, it's very similar, actually. That is pretty similar. It's not the same, but it's similar. Um, but this is, I think this might be actually, I think this came possibly from a coin box. Or not a coin box, what am I saying? A, uh, external, uh, ringer box. Sorry, I'm thinking the coin box, because there's no one, there's no coin box on my phone. Okay, let's see. I believe this key is called a... I think it's needed for them. Hmm. Anyways, well, I think this is a standard type of key, and I think it's the original key too, based on, um, it's a bit rusty there, but the number on it says 405456. Let's see if we can find it on eBay. Let's see. 405456. Alright. 405456. Key. Nope. How about three slots? I don't know if they actually made these keys unique. I know with um, the 1D2, they made them unique, but I'm not sure if they do the same thing with the 3 slot phone. Yeah, 21B, that is what I thought it was called, actually. This looks like it's just for the upper housing, though. That doesn't look entirely similar. No, see how that one has a little, um... And it has, um... Actually... Yeah, it has that piece, and it goes down. It has... I'm not actually 100% sure about how the keys work uh, for the three slot. I know how they work for the single slot phones, but it's I have no idea how it works for this. Maybe they use the same upper housing key, but the lower housing key was unique. I'm not sure. Wow. Just for the vault door and key... $120? Are you serious? Wow. This phone costed me $260 shipped. And it came with everything. And it's polished and everything. So I can't imagine paying half the cost of the phone just on the volt door. That's insane. But Coin internal parts. Maybe I can use some of this. What I really need is I need the uh, three slot phone uh, relay. I think it's called the coin relay. That's what I think it's called. Yeah, that's what I need there. This says it's for single slot, so I don't think it's that one. Actually, that's probably not it. Um, they might actually be interchangeable. But here, this is a part I need here. That's, that's what I need. 29 bucks. I thought it was going to be more expensive than that. So yeah, I'll, par I'll probably get this uh, later. I spent too much on phone stuff already for this year. <laughs> but... Uh, when I when I am ready to convert that to be used on a regular coin trunk, then it's nice to know that it's only thirty bucks. So I'm happy about that. But uh, yeah, well that's uh, that's my setup. I'll call the single slot over there one D two. You can feel free to call that phone on MPSTN. That one is 347-5002. This phone is 347-5003, but there is no ringer box currently, so I won't know when it rings. That, uh, five, that 302 there 
is uh, 347-5211, and the black 500 set over there is 347-5322, and those both route through my 207C step switch. There's also some other numbers you can dial. Um, I don't remember them currently, but yeah, those are all my phones there. And over here on this desk, this is 347-5000, and my uh, soft phone on my computer is 6461217 all on NPSTN, so you can feel free to call any of these phones. You can explore around on my step switch by dialing 3475XXX, and yes, that's a single selector in there, but it, I have kind of a hacked way of doing three or, or four or even five, seven, eight, ten digits. How I do that is um, the two relay times out after about two-ish seconds, but meanwhile, before that timeout occurs, you can dial more digits and it will step up the position. So, technically that 500 set over there is connected to station 7 on the switch, which you can dial just by dialing 7 internally here. You can't do it on the outside because it sends 3. But uh, internally, I can pick this phone up. Here, I'll use this phone here. I can pick this up and I can dial 7, and this phone will ring. But, I can also dial 322. Now you might be thinking to yourself, seven, okay, three, two, two, okay, so you take the number three, two, two, and go three plus two plus two, and the number that equals is seven. So you're, you're not st multiple, multiply stepping up multiple, oh, that didn't make it, you're not stepping up multiple selectors, you're stepping up the single selector before it times out, and whatever you dial, you know, since it's converted to pulses, you're just pulsing that selector one by one by one by one by one. So you can step it up just seven times in one go, or you can step it up multiple times before it times out, which is two seconds on this 207C with the T relay. So that's my hacked way of having three and four digit dialing internally. You can also dial three, two, one, one, and that will do the same thing because three plus two plus one plus one also equals seven. Now you'll notice if you dial really slowly, it won't work because it'll time out. The reason that happened is because the 3 timed out, so when I dialed 2, it got 2, and then I got 3, and then it got 4. Well, this station is on station 4, as you can see um, here. This is station 4, this is station 7, literally. But, um, like I said, you can exploit that. You can, instead of dialing 4, you can dial 2, 1, 1. And it will ring. Or, you can just dial 4, 4s. Four. 1, 2, 3, 4. All adds up to the same thing. Switch doesn't care. That's how I have multi-digit multi dialing on a single selector on something that just fits right on the corner of my dresser. So like I said, Western Electric 207C KTU dialing. Um, got this for 58 bucks, and uh, so can you on eBay. I don't know if there's that many left, so I would jump on it. But it makes a perfect uh, starter switch, so that's great. And you can have seven-digit dialing. Here, I'll demonstrate you guys seven-digit dialing. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Obviously, it works a lot better when you have a com when you have a separate piece of equipment out pulsing that because it uh, it'll out pulse it really fast. So this phone won't even have time to ring before it hits the right extension. So that's that. So uh, I hope that cleared some confusion. Some people were talking about how I did that. So that's how that's how I do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video about my three-slot payphone and some of my uh, phone equipment like my step switch here. So please uh, comment if you have any uh, questions or if you can um, tell me more about this phone. And uh, like if you like the video, dislike it if you dislike the video. But if you, did, if you did dislike the video, I'd appreciate a comment so I know how to better improve it. And if you like my content, uh, please subscribe. Uh, I'm thinking of uploading tons of videos about telephones and, and switching equipment. I have tons of video ideas lined up. So, uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching.